So for this quiz, you have to be able to tell how to make three solutions. One of them is going to be from grams of crystals or of a salt. The other two are going to be dilutions. I suggest to draw a picture because it's required that you have to have a sketch, but the picture helps me get started. I draw a picture of the beaker I'm putting things in. I need it to be 150 milliliters, getting that over here, and I need it to be 0.1 molar. I'm getting that right here. I know I'm going to add water. The big question is, how much? I also know I'm going to be adding grams of crystal. That's the next big question. How much? That crystal in this case is going to be calcium chloride. When I'm dealing with crystals which dissolve and don't take up extra space once they're dissolved, when it comes time to figuring out how many milliliters of water, it's just the same number, 150 milliliters. It's because the crystals, crystals won't add to that volume. They'll just, um, it'll dissolve in them. The grams part is what I have to figure out now. There's a formula all about molarity and moles and liters. It was up on the board when we're doing that. Here's the formula, molarity equals moles per liter, but I like to use it as a round little buddy. I need to figure out how many grams, and it's not going to, nothing on this round little buddy has grams, but the closest that I have is moles. So if I cover up the word moles, it tells me to do moles times liters because they're next to each other. Molarity times liters, not moles. 0.1 molarity times, uh-oh, liters. How come liters? Well, I didn't make this definition. Whoever made this in a, te in a chemistry book says that molarity is moles per liter. Up here, it's in milliliters. I'll have to move the decimal over one, two, three places, 0 0.150 liters in order to um, change it into liters. Sometimes I change it into liters. How come? Because the definition or the formula says so. 0.1 times 0.15 equals, that's 0 0.015 moles of calcium chloride. Well, that's not what I wanted to know. I need to know grams of calcium chloride, 0 0.015 moles of calcium chloride. One mole of that stuff, calcium chloride, is two chlorines of 71 plus uh, calcium is a 40. 40 plus 71 is 111. 0 0.015, 0 0.015 times 111. Did I do that wrong? 0 0.015 times 111 equals 1.67 grams. How do you make a solution out of crystals in this that strength? In this case, you dissolve 1.67 grams of salt crystals, which is calcium chloride is a type of salt, in 150 milliliters of um, water. The next two, I'm using a stock solution. This, the stuff I just made is my stock solution. So what I'm going to be doing, now before I start doing any math, I want to draw up. What am I after? 150 milliliters. How strong? 0 0.05 molar. What are the ingredients? Water is one of the ingredients, and we'll have to figure out how much. The other ingredient is my stock solution, which is this stuff. It is 0 0.1 molar calcium chloride. How much of that stuff? I don't know either of those. This time, I cannot just look at the 150 and write it there like I did on, on the last one, because I'm adding a liquid to a liquid and they will add up. They will take up more volume. So there's a, there's a formula for dilutions. M1V1 equals M2V2. It doesn't have to be this way, but I usually do my stock I put on the left and whatever I'm trying to figure out, the new one I put on the right. So I start reading all these numbers and figuring out what is my stock. My stock is 0.1 molar. How much of it am I going to use? That's the big question that I'm trying to figure out. What is my new solution have to be? 150 milliliters. Is it okay to use milliliters? It is. Nothing in this formula says that it has to be liters. Up here, this had said it had to be liters. This just said a volume. Liters is a volume, and I can use that. What is the, the new 
uh, molarity is going to be 0.05 big M molar. I have to get V1 all by itself by dividing by this so that it crosses off. But what I do to one side, I have to do to the other. So I would put in 0.05 times 150 divided by 0.1. That's going to equal 75 milliliters. I need to pour 75 milliliters of 0.1 molar calcium chloride. But yet I need a grand total of 150. So 150 minus the 75 that's already in there tells me, well, I'm going to need 75 extra milliliters of water. This next one says, using, you have to read carefully when you're doing your quiz. On the quiz, I think it said to always use, I don't know, you just have to read. This says, what are we going to use for our new, using as much of your new solution, that's this stuff, prepare, prepare 85 milliliters of 0.02 molar calcium chloride. Let me draw it up. When I'm done, I'm going to have 85 milliliters in here. Uh, it needs to be 0 0.02 big M. The ingredients will be, well, some water, either from a jug or from the faucet. And I don't know how many milliliters. The other ingredient is going to be this stuff, 0 0.05 molar calcium chloride. How much of that? That's another thing I'm trying to figure out. I use the same formula. The dilution formula is M1V1 because M2V2. Remember that I'm calling this my stock, and now the stock is this stuff, 0 0.05 molar. How much of that is what I'm trying to figure out? I'm trying to make the new stuff I'm making is 85 milliliters times 0 0.02 molar. I flip-flop the M and the V, and that's okay. A distributive or associative property, I don't know what it is. I need V1 alone, divide by 0 0.05 molar. What you do to one side, you have to do to the other. 85 times 0 0.02 divided by 0 0.05 it equals 34 milliliters. I'm going to need 34 milliliters of that solution. Okay, so when I'm all done, I got to have 85 milliliters all, all total in there. So 85 minus 34 leaves me 51 milliliters of water that I have to add to it. I just caution you that on the quiz, it might say use your solution from number one. This one says use your new one. Just read carefully and it'll tell you which ones to use. Eight minute video. Whoops.